Now, I had mentioned the beacon earlier. Now, the beacon may or may not be sent from the access point. And Cisco actually recommends that you do leave the beacon turned on. Some people, for security reasons, will turn off the beacon, but it does not protect your network against people that sniff the network and hack into it. Because the information sent out on the beacon is also sent out on what we call probe responses, which we'll talk about in a moment. So typically you would send out the beacon and typically is sent out about every hundred milliseconds. And the beacon contains information about the access point and therefore how to connect to it. And so one of the most important things on the beacon is a timestamp. And the timestamp is added at the moment that the beacon's actually transmitted. And so I'll use that timestamp to sync the clock on my client with the access point. So it puts us into synchronization mode so that my clocks are synchronized with the beacon. It'll tell me what the beacon interval is. And like I said, the beacon interval is normally about every 100 milliseconds. And if I can't hear the beacon after 100 milliseconds, and let's say I've been waiting and it's now been 200 milliseconds and I still haven't heard a beacon, then that would indicate that I'm out of coverage and I should look for another access point. It'll tell me the capability of the access point. So for instance, it'll tell me if it's supporting features like quality of service, the different security mechanisms, etc. We talked about the SSID. The SSID may or may not be included in the beacon. Typically it is included in the beacon. It also tells me what rates are supported. What I'm talking about here is the data rates. Now let's say this access point had been set up to support voice calls and had a minimum supported data rate of 24 megabits per second. So even though I could connect further away from the access point where the data rates may have dropped to 12 or 6 megabits per second, I know that it won't support me at those data rates, that the minimum data rate has been set to 24 megabits per second. So I find that out when I listen to the beacon. Based on this information and the signal strength, I can then decide do I want to connect to this access point or do I want to connect to another access point?